Bless the name of the Lord. I am so excited to be able to teach you real quick today on how to discern with your five natural senses. How do you use taste and smell, sight, hearing, touch, feeling to discern the spiritual realm? And friends, I want to encourage you to get my new book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, Partnering with the Holy Spirit to Manifest Your Destiny. It will elaborate on this teaching that I have for you today on how to discern into the spiritual realm using your five natural senses. I'm not going to teach, take you uh, real far into this. I want to keep this short and brief. I want to give you some power packed points that you can take home and say, I can apply this to my life today, right now now so we can see into the spiritual realm how do we see into the spiritual realm one of the ways that i tell people to see into the spiritual realm is to look above buildings look into the corners of rooms to expand your horizon look on top of banking institutions and companies look as you're flying out the airplane as you're driving into a town there is expectation okay when we look around we are expecting to see something you know a lot of times we just want to be like bam see an angel bam see a demon see that principality automatically just know it's there but breeding grounds okay happen miracles happen discernment happens when we're expecting and so we have to raise our expectations one of the ways that we do that is by doing something in the natural to make that spiritual correlation so if you want to see into the spiritual realm start looking up start looking in corners start looking around look deep into people's eyes not staring just look deep intensely into their eyes and the spiritual realm will open up to you probably the number one question that I get asked is how do I see into the spiritual realm? Okay. And so you have to exercise the spiritual realm. You have to exercise. And so I want to encourage you to exercise the spiritual realm. Okay. With your eyes, with your taste, with your, you know, hands, with everything, with hearing. And so that is one of the ways that you are going to increase being in worship and prayer, being in that secret place, in that place of rest, as we're in that place of rest, as we're in that place with the father. OK, then what is going to happen as we're in the place with the father? What is going to happen is it is going to expand. It's going to expand us seeing. OK. It is going to expand and open our eyes because why? Because we go to the father to be in this secret place. We go to Jesus just because we want more of him and out of the abundance of wanting more out of the abundance of wanting him, then what is going to come? Okay. The scene is going to come. The hearing is going to come. And so that's a key is to be in that secret place, in that place of rest. Now hearing, how do we hear in the spiritual realm? One is, I believe it's a gift of discernment that the Lord will give us to hear angels, to hear the demons, to hear demonic chatter. And so one part of it, I don't think we can create and make happen, but we can also get intensely close to the father so that we can quicken our spirit and soul to hear him amidst the chaos. You know, the Lord has trained me. How do I hear him in a grocery store or in a conference? You know, if everyone's going wild in the Holy Ghost, you know, how do I hear him? How do I hear him amidst casting out demons? And so, you know, the Lord will open that to you. But as we search the Lord, as we know his word and we know the practices that are in the word of God, okay, then our ears are going to open. And as we desire, are you ready, friends? As we desire to see angels in God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the good things, 
He'll open our eyes to see the demonic things. And everyone always wants to see demons. And I'll be like, why do you want to see demons so much? You know, why don't you want to see the good stuff? What are you going to do with the demons that you see? And so I want you to think about that too. What are you going to do with what you see? And some people are like, I see demons all the time. That's where your focus is often, all right? Now, the other thing is just because someone sees into the spiritual realm does not mean they're a Christian or does not mean that they're seeing purely, okay? The demonic can see into the spiritual realm. The enemy can open people's spiritual eyes too. So we have to be very careful with that, friends, okay? That why are we seeing what we're seeing okay where's your focus i saw demons for years and you know it was because i was studying deliverance and doing deliverance and you know there were some times that my husband's like kathy you got way too many dark books on your desk you know as you're studying and so as i shifted and also looked at faith and love and the good things okay not just studying about demons and their operations then I started seeing the angels and having encounters. And so you got to ask yourself, what am I doing? Now, we can taste, all right? Taste is something that when we're casting out demons, you might taste something bad. You might, or the person you're casting a demon out of might taste something bad. So taste is another thing. You know, what does the word of God say? It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And we know that he is sweet, that he is pleasant. And so even quickening, you know, your spiritual senses to your taste, okay, what is going on right now? Is there something different? And so those senses we can tap into. Now, what about touch, guys? Okay. Well, with the woman with the hemorrhage issue, she said, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made well. Okay. And Jesus, what? He laid hands on the sick. And so it's another thing that we can do is we can learn from touching, from physical manifestations. And I think physical manifestations are really important. Daniel 10 talks about physical manifestations. Ezekiel talks about physical manifestations. Now, I'm going to get this here for some of you to really learn about this. Okay. So, when our hands are hot, that can be a healing anointing. And so when you feel heat on your hands, it's not for you to enjoy. It's for you to give away. Find someone to lay hands on. Also, when your hands are hot, that can be a deliverance anointing. And you need to ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me, is this healing? Is this deliverance? What am I supposed to do? I have one of my hands get hot when I'm ministering healing. The other hand gets hot when I minister deliverance deliverance. And I'm not going to tell you what hand is what, because it might not be the same for you. And it might not be that at all. Okay. But I asked the Lord, I inquired of him. I always inquire of him when I'm feeling something. And I said, why is my other hand getting hot? You had one hand getting hot all the time. And he says, Kathy, when you're so intense in deliverance, okay, if there's a healing, I need to quicken your spirit. And so then he would lay heat on my healing hand to quicken me to be like, hey, there's something healing going on here. It's the same thing when I'm praying healing. If there's a demonic attachment there, then what I need to do is he'll highlight my other hand with some heat, you know, and know that, okay, there's a demonic attachment. So it's a way that the Lord can communicate with you of your anointing or what is going on. Now, if you're feeling some tingling, some electricity, I'm even going to see some really heavy pressure or pain in your arm. That's a miracle anointing. All right. So you, what he wants you to do is he wants you to pray over that person until that, you know, feeling releases. Okay. So if you're getting a miracle anointing, just keep praying until that feeling in your arm subsides. And those are just a few ways that we can use our physical touch to, you know, quicken our spiritual discernment and our senses. And that's what we really want to do. And we can also do that with deliverance guys, because what a lot of people don't realize they're like, well, where's deliverance in the nine gifts of the spirit? And everyone one automatically assumes that it's in, you know, discerning of the spirits. No, deliverance is in miracles, guys. Think about it. You're taking a demonic entity out of somebody's body. That is nothing short 
of a miracle, all right? And so I want to really, you know, quicken you to how you activate your spiritual senses, guys. And I talk about this more in my brand new book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, all right? I list all the senses and how you can learn, but I list a lot of new things. And you can grab that at Amazon or my website, anywhere you buy books. Now, how do we activate smell to discern? Okay, well, if you're casting out demons, demons sometimes smell like burning, okay, smoke. And so if you're ministering and you're starting to smell burning or smoke, you will know that that is a demon that's trying to come out. Maybe a demon has come in the room, different things like that. And so you want to be in tune, all right? Demons will go out, even guys, by bad breath, by, you know, passing gas, different things like that. And so, you know, pay attention to the smells when you're doing deliverance, when you're doing ministry of what you're smelling. You know, one time I was allergic to frankincense and myrrh, and I would minister with my apostle all the time. And I was hold his oil for him, guys. And my hands would turn beet red with frankincense and myrrh. And so I was in a meeting in his town, but he wasn't in that meeting, guys. Okay. And I was ministering and all of a sudden I smelled frankincense and myrrh come into the meeting. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, okay? I looked at the door, guys, to see if he walked in or something, honestly, but he didn't. And I'm like, okay, I put my microphone down and I just told the conference, I was a preacher, guys, at the conference, you know? We were doing a teaching school and deliverance. And I said, I'm gonna put my microphone down right now because the Lord just blew in here with frankincense and myrrh and I have to discern this. And guys, I am not kidding, okay? I picked my microphone back up. The Lord told me, he said, Kathy, I don't want you to lay hands on one person. And I happened to be sitting on a stool because I was in a teaching um, school. And I said, for four hours, I commanded deliverance, healing, intimacy, the fire of God. I did not touch anyone. And for four hours, we had such miracles break out. One lady was like in the front. She flew all the way to the back with the fire of God. She literally did not stop until she went through the chairs and hit the wall, guys. There were two backs healed. The altar got filled. People were weeping and wailing and demons were delivering all because I yielded at the smell. Okay, guys, all because I used smell, smell, guys, as discernment. And it was just like crazy miracles just broke out, guys. And the, and the fire of God, like this one girl was, she didn't physically do it, but she wanted to just like strip off her clothes because she was burning so much with the fire of God. And it was all because I yielded to smell. And so don't discredit those things. Sometimes the Holy Spirit wants to get our attention in a different way. And you want to know what the beauty of it was? That day I was healed of that allergy to frankincense and myrrh. And now I custom make my own oil. I personally pour the frankincense and myrrh in there, pray, worship over it. Okay. And so I would just say to you, be attentive to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. If you're smelling fragrance, if you're smelling something, um, you know, sweet, whatever it is, I want you to pay attention and yield to the Holy Spirit. And guys, that is why I'm so passionate about my new book. It's called Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, but the subtitle is Partnering with the Holy Spirit to Manifest Your Destiny. And I teach you how to pray, declare, do deliverance, see into the spiritual realm, um, five of the top strong men. I teach you principalities, powers, how to see all of that. Okay. And so I just want to encourage you to get over and get that book. Now I have some free training for you. Who would love free deliverance training, free spiritual warfare training every Tuesday for the next 16 weeks at 1 PM Eastern standard time, guys, I am going to get on and give you free spiritual warfare training guys. And so I want to encourage you to go over to my website at kathydegrawministries.org and you sign up for the webinar. So go to the webinar link, okay? 
And I want you to sign up and it'll automatically send you the Zoom link so you can join me on Zoom. And even if you can't attend live, guess what? We're going to send out the replays. But when you attend live, then what's going to happen? You are going to get to ask questions. All right. And so it is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So I want you to join me. I'm going to start tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. But guys, it's really going to bless you if you get the book to go along with my teaching. So you get all the written notes and everything else watch my Facebook page because I'm going to put together some special surprises that I'm going to be giving away guys. I'm looking for a book launch team. And so I want to encourage you. I'm going to be sending out an email later today. If you're not on my email list, you need to go over there right now and get on it at Kathy ministries.org. I'm going to be sending out some offers. We're going to have some private meetings with people who are in the book launch group. Guys, we are just like, yeah, releasing all the spiritual warfare every single day, guys. You're going to be empowered. So please share this to your wall. So I hope these five tips helped you, give you a little bit better insight on how to see into the spiritual realm. Like I said, I have it more in depth in my new book prophetic spiritual warfare. Does it talk about intercession? You bet. Okay. It talks about everything, guys. I talk about intimacy with the father. If you haven't been able to get intimate with the father, I give you new declarations. Every chapter is packed with declarations, prophetic activations to increase, to receive deliverance, to minister to deliverance, to conquer spiritual warfare. Guys, this book is chucked full like no other book I have ever written. And I am so honored that Charisma Media, Charisma House has partnered with me. So you can grab that book, guys, at Amazon.com, anywhere that you order your favorite book. And you can link to the webinars that I'm going to be doing at kathydegrawministries.org. We'll send you that Zoom link. You'll be able to chat with me in Zoom. You're not going to be on video, just me. So don't worry about it. And you're going to get trained for the next 16 weeks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm stoked. So I hope you are too. I love you guys. Share this with a friend. Share it with everyone you know so we can get people trained in spiritual warfare to conquer it, to live out their freedom and their victory. I love you guys. Have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow.